Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's been a while since you uh, saw my face, I guess. Uh, I've just been doing reviews mostly, uh, except for the Dazzle video and, and some other stuff. But uh, it's been a while since I did a recent pickups video, and my hair is, as always, really bad. Throw a hat on. And anyway, um, so I thought about, you know, I just got off of work. Uh, first off, I guess not first off, but happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a recent pickups today. Uh, some of these are just borrowed um, from Stefan. Others I picked up. Others I got in trades. Uh, the whole you know thing right there. So uh, some of these are really old, uh, but I'll just get right into it. Uh, first, I'm I don't know if I'm borrowing this from Stefan or if I'm keeping it. I don't remember really the uh, what this was. Uh, you know how I got this game, but uh, NHL 98 for the uh, Super NES. Uh, I like hockey games, I like old hockey games, I like new hockey games. I'm a hockey guy. Um, so, yeah, I remember I used to have that, I don't know what happened to it. Got it back, though. And, uh, yeah. Next three I got, I don't even know how long, probably back in May, and I just never showed you guys. Uh, the three uh, Genesis games. First one is Zoop. I have not played it. Next is Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure. Have not played it. <laughs> Let me know if those are good. Game I have played is Lion King. I s traded all three of those for one Game Gear game. So, Game TZ is the shit. Um, next, I got three new PS3 games that I've been. Two of I have been playing a ton. The other I have not tried yet. I got from. From uh, the Steph Meister, uh, that is the first one is MLB 09 the show. Uh, <laughs> some of you may not know. I, I do. Oh, well, I've said this before. I do like sports games. Um, and I was really on the fence about this, either picking this up or uh, Tiger Woods PGA 10 Tour 10, or whatever. Um, and I ultimately went with this. Uh, it's a really, really deep game. If you like, uh, if if you like baseball sims, this is definitely for you. Uh, you can do franchise mode, and you have to run everything. It's it's pretty much they call it franchise mode. It should be owner mode, uh, because you have to set everything up. You have to you know you do trades, you use free agency, all that stuff. You have to set your minor league rosters. You have to set your you know your pro roster. You have to worry about. Um, Ticket prices, uh, ticket sales, um, advertising, everything. Uh, there's a lot to do with that. Um, the other thing that they just incorporated is, is I think if you've ever played NHL 09, you had to be a pro mode. This is the, I don't know if this has always been in it, but um, the sh it's called you know Road to the Show, and pretty much you create yourself. And you have to work your way up from the minors to get to the majors. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't love that mode as much as I like it in NHL 09, just because how they present it isn't as good. Um, basically, I, I created my guy to play center field, and they would just randomly throw me out on the field, and I would catch a ball, and that was it. Like, you know, I didn't stay out there the entire inning, uh, which kind of sucked, but um, what can you do? And then you just go up and bat. Uh, so, it's not bad, but it's not great. I like uh, the NHL version more, maybe because I like hockey more, but... I don't know, so that's enough about that game. I may do a review of it. The next game I'm definitely doing a review of is Pure. Uh, it has a uh, Game Game Critics Award 08 winner for Best of E3, and it is so fun. Uh, if you like... There's one thing I, I don't... I'll tell you what I'd like about it first. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. Um, you... You know, if, if you like racers that aren't, like, Sims, I guess... Um, like, you know, if you don't like Gran Turismo and you're like Forza and, and those and Project Gotham Racing, you'll probably like this because it's just pretty much, it's very arcadey, but there are some sim parts to it. Um, you have to build your ETV pretty much from scratch. They have like a, like a, you know, the game builds it for you if you want. And I did that because I don't know anything about anything, uh, in cars, let alone ATVs. But if you're really into ATVs, and you know about the stuff, then you'll have a good time with it. Um, well, at least that part. But there's a career mode, there's a ton of stuff, it's a blast. Uh, best part, if you go to GameStop and try to buy this used, it's $45. I got it on GameTZ.com for 17 
So definitely, as I always say, check that site out. It's pretty sick. And then last but not least, a game I know nothing about, but I will play it, and that is Folklore. I got it from Stefan. Uh, I actually have his game right here that I have to send to him. I'll show you guys. I'm sending him Sly Cooper, Killzone, and Jack and Daxter. Um, so I gotta send those out. I went yesterday, but the post office is closed. Um, but Folklore, I have nothing to say about because I have not played it. I don't even know what the game is about. I was just like, you know what? Looks pretty cool. I uh, will make a trade with you. I think I sent him... I think he's keeping Jack and Daxter, and he's keeping Sly Cooper. And he's just borrowing Killzone because he's not going to want to play Killzone because it sucks. But anyway, I'll let you guys know about that game. And finally, I got this yesterday. Oh, no, not finally. Uh, I got Grand Theft Auto 3. I have two discs of this, but I did not have a case. So I went to good old GameStop to just see what they had. And this was sitting there. It's in mint condition. But it's the it's it's a not for resale one, which is weird. It's part of the set, like the, the GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas set. But other than that, it's just perfect. It completes my set. I have all three GTA games on the PS2. And last but not least... Uh, a DS game, Pokemon Diamond version. I am I'm really starting to get into this now. Uh, I hadn't. I, this is the first uh, Pokemon game that I'm playing since way back with Pokemon Yellow. Um, I just have not played one. Uh, I forgot how good of a game it is. It's a blast, but kind of sucks because Stefan had a game saved on there, and I thought I set it up where I can still save it, but I can't. So I haven't been able to save. I've just been closing my DS, and it pretty much just picked, it goes into like sleep mode. So, uh, yeah. But that's it. That's all my new pickups and borrows and stuff. I have a lot more coming in this week. I have, I'll have to do another episode of this next week. I'll have uh, a 360 game coming in, uh, Xbox games coming in, original Xbox, uh, Dreamcast games coming in, PS2 games coming in, just a lot. I've been doing a lot of stuff on GameTZ. Uh, and I've just been getting back into into collecting and just trying to buy everything that I uh, can get my hands on. If I don't have it, I usually pick it up. So if you guys have uh, games that you want to get rid of that are cheap PS2 or PS2 or Xbox games, let me know because I will most likely buy them. But you have to have PayPal, and uh, you pretty much have to send first. Um, because I don't know you guys that well. But other than that, uh, check out Paddlecast. We put our our new episode up last couple days ago, I guess. Uh, I put only I only edited one part just because putting pictures in for a 48 minute show would have taken five parts, and that is a long show. Uh, so just go to our blog, blog, our podcast website, at, you know, our po yeah, blog spot. I couldn't speak. Uh, it's paddlecastpodcast.blogspot.com. It's a 48 minute show, just me and Stefan. But I think uh, it may be our best yet. It just had a, re a really good flow to it. Uh, you can see what we've been playing and just we go over some news and stuff. So please check it out. And if uh, if you download it, please let us know because there's no stat trackers. So we have no idea who's listening, who's downloading and stuff. But other than that, uh, have a great, great uh, 4th of July. It's 8.30 right now. So I, I'm starting to hear fireworks going off on Long Island. And uh, just be safe, guys. And... That's it. See you later.